The Roz and Mocha Show. Kiss 92.5. Cameron Bailey, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Maury? Fantastic. So, we're celebrating TIFF's top 10. Right out of the gate, I have to ask you, how do you select 10 films out of all the amazing films that you had this year? You know, we're lucky. There's a lot of great movies being made in Canada right now. We put together an independent panel of filmmakers, film industry people, critics, that kind of thing, and they look at everything, and they select the 10 best features and the 10 best shorts. Now, do you, how do you break the news to those that didn't make the top? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's tough sometimes because, you know, it's like the festival process, you know. Um, uh, there's always more films than you can select. You try to choose the best ones you can. We're looking out for our audience as well. We're trying to find the ones that they really like. So, sadly, not everybody makes it. Now, the general public, how can we get involved and celebrate the top ten? How can people that are watching this and hearing this get involved? Screenings are on right now at TIFF Bell Lightbox. You can go to tiff.net slash top ten, get all the information on the films that are in, the screenings that are happening. We had a great kickoff with a movie called The F Word, a, a romantic comedy set right here in Toronto uh, with Daniel Radcliffe, of all people, and uh, Sarah Gadden and many others. Um, and it's continued really well. Now, what are some of the t what are some of the films in the top ten? Are there some that really stand out to you? Yeah, I mean, F Word is one. A film called Enemy that Denis Villeneuve made is another one. Um, the great films from Quebec this year, one called Gabrielle, which was Canada's submission for the Academy Awards. We also had um, a film called Sarah Prefers to Run, a really interesting independent feature coming out of Montreal as well. So a good mix of films, documentaries like When Jews Were Funny and Watermark, and fiction films, uh, films from all across the country. Now, Enemy, I loved that film. And if you want to see Jake Gyllenhaal ride the TTC, <laughs> go and watch Enemy. Jake on a Toronto streetcar. And this movie's a real <laughs> mind trip. He plays two different characters, a guy who may or may not be, um, you know, having a, a doppelganger come into his life. It's a bizarre movie. It's really beautifully directed, and it shows Toronto like you've never seen it before. Now, while I have you, before I let you go, what can we expect in 2014 from TIFF? Well, we're busy working on the festival right now. We're putting the, the infrastructure in place for September's festival. We're beginning to watch films, and over the next few months, you're going to see us putting together a program that I hope matches what we had last year, which I think was one of our best. I hate the fact that you're making me think of September already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, plan. Get your sleep now. Awesome. Thank you again. And the website one more time? Uh, Tiff.net slash top 10. Oz and Mocha Show. Kiss 92.5.